Are we near recession? I, I think we are teetering towards a recession. Now, of course, the fourth quarter number does look pretty good, particularly against the backdrop of an even stronger rise in the third quarter. But when we look at what's happening with the consumer, which is the backbone of the U.S. economy, we are seeing a clear loss of momentum. And without the consumer happy and healthy out in the marketplace, we simply cannot expect to maintain positive growth, let alone more robust growth, similar to what we saw this morning. So I do think that as the yeah. Fed can continues to raise rates, savings are depleted, real income remains negative, fiscal support fades, there is going to be an additional burden on the consumer that leads us into or uh, near negative right. growth. Lindsay, long ago and far away, under the religion of the Kool-Aid of Peter Lynch of Fidelity, domestic final sales reign supreme. Michael McKee just mentioned that that trend, that tendency there, away from the back and forth of imports, exports, and the rest, is a pretty moldy number. Do you have a belief here that a slowdown in domestic final sales brings on the reality of recession? It certainly does, because just like when we look at inflation, we strip out the more volatile components of food and energy. That's what we're doing when we look at that real final sales number to uh, domestic pur uh, purchasers. We're stripping out the volatility of inventory. We're stripping out the volatility of trade. And what we see is a more clear, defined downward trajectory of growth, slowing from up near 4% to down near 1% at the end of the year. Again, still, there was enough resilience in the U.S. economy to maintain positive Positive momentum in Q4. But the bigger question is, are we able to maintain that momentum as we turn the calendar page? And most of the data suggests that we do not. Lindsay, do you think that the market is wrong because we are seeing consumer stocks do really well as they look forward? I think the market is severely underappreciating the amount of tightening that the Fed is going to have to embark on in order to reinstate price stability and thus underappreciating the amount of pressure that is going to be put on consumers and businesses and the overall economy. When do you start to see the data to actually prove that before thinking, well, maybe the Fed is going to be on the side, you do see inflation coming down and we're going to get that soft landing that everybody's talking about? I, I think we're already seeing it in the data. When we look at retail sales, negative in November, negative in December, consumer spending still positive. But when we look at overall goods and services, that too is trending down. Production now in, uh, in contractionary territory, housing taking a sizable hit. There are multiple, right. multiple data points that are suggesting the U.S. economy is not going to be able to maintain this momentum in the new year.